it's Dan the Bugman here, and you're probably watching this video because you hate mosquitoes just as much as I do. Well, you clicked on the right video. I'm going to be showing you how these incredibly simple but effective little buckets can catch hundreds and hundreds of mosquitoes. So mosquitoes suck, literally and figuratively, but as humans, we are smarter than mosquitoes, and we can take advantage of the unique biology of mosquitoes using these buckets that are able to trap hundreds and hundreds of mosquitoes. These buckets catch the adults when they go inside of them. So that's what's gonna be happening today. First, I'm gonna show you exactly how these buckets work and how to set them up. Then I'm going to show you where to put these buckets to catch the most mosquitoes in your yard. And then I'm going to keep checking them day after day and show you guys exactly how these buckets catch hundreds and hundreds of mosquitoes. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video and see how many we catch. I bet you didn't expect to see me here. It is Dan the Bugman, but not Dan the Bugman that you were just listening to. It's actually Dan the Bugman six weeks passed when I started making this video. And here is just a sneak peek as to actually what happened and what I think about these. These bad boys right here, these, these nice fancy schmancy mosquito buckets, guys, I was so excited about. And here's what I think of them after six long weeks of being absolutely mauled by mosquitoes. These things don't do anything. They suck, they completely suck, and they don't work. Don't work at all. I really thought they were gonna work, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna do that. That's not who I am. That's not what this channel is about. It's about telling you the truth, and the truth is, those things, they just don't work. But in my opinion, guys, it was still really cool to see how these buckets had such an epic, epic failure. So let's go ahead and get into how these buckets were actually supposed to work. So, so by this point, I bet you're wondering, how do these buckets even work? You know, like how do they catch mosquitoes? They are really a environmentally friendly choice to catching mosquitoes. So let's go ahead and get these set up. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set them up so you don't have to worry about how to set them up. It's very, very simple. First things first, get these two buckets completely empty. What we're going to do first is we're going to fill them with water. And how much water do we put in them, you might ask? There's a little slit right here, but really we're just filling them about half full. Gonna go ahead and put the water in the bucket. Pretty simple. Now once you get the buckets filled up, the next step is really just Dan the Bugman's personal experience with dealing with mosquitoes. This water is nice and clear. It came out of the water hose. But mosquitoes, they kind of like icky water. They like stagnant water. That's where they lay their eggs. I haven't really explained that yet, but it's pretty common knowledge. Mosquitoes lay their eggs in water. What we're doing is we are creating an environment for mosquitoes to lay their eggs in. They are attracted to the moisture in the air that these buckets release. And then they come in here, they lay their eggs in this water, but they're not going to be able to lay their eggs. They're going to get trapped. So that's the fun part. What I'm going to recommend you guys do is actually just grab some leaves laying in your yard and go ahead and put them in the bucket. This will help create that stagnant, kind of icky feel that mosquitoes love to look for when they're laying their eggs. The next steps are incredibly simple. Each device comes with these five parts. It comes with a big lid. It comes with an inner tube, a mesh screen that the mosquitoes can't go through, a mesh screen that the mosquitoes can go through, and a interior cylinder that will actually have the device that catches the mosquitoes. It's this thing. There are two of them here. Inside these two black things is sticky, icky, goopy, goopy stuff that mosquitoes land on and can't get off. This doesn't actually attract the mosquitoes. They just land on it and can't get off. These will go inside the tubes just like that. So once the water and leaves are inside, you go ahead and pop on these outer lids. Then each of these inner cylinders, you put the mesh screen at the very bottom. There's a big mesh that holds it in place and the little mesh at the bottom. Once that's in place, you snap that onto the top. Now's the fun part. You take these sticky, sticky, sticky strips that are very sticky and you put them facing in. Please don't put them facing out. <laughs> that's, that's not how it works. You slide them down right in place. Here's what they look like once they're in place. You got the water at the bottom and the mesh screen and then you got this sticky stuff that the mosquitoes get caught on. And the final step is just to put these covers on. Now, once these buckets are set up, you might ask yourself, hmm, where do I put these buckets? So you don't wanna put them right next to each other. You wanna kind of spread them out in your backyard. The best places to put them are, are actually areas like right over here. See all these leaves and stuff? That's where mosquitoes like to hang out during the day. They'll just hang out on these leaves. So I'm gonna put this bucket right here and I'm going to put the other bucket in the middle of all of these leaves. This is also a perfect area for mosquitoes to hang out. And if you look where I put these buckets, one of them is right here next to my grill and the patio and the other one is over there 
and the corner right next to the patio. Those are two great places that are really close to where I spend most of my time outside that mosquitoes also like to hang out. So let's see exactly how many mosquitoes these bad boys catch. What's up guys, it's 48 hours after I've set up the mosquito buckets, so let's check them out. So basically I'll open this, take out the two sticky things. Okay guys, so I have the glue boards right here in front of me. Let's examine these and see what we found. All right, there is a bug of some sorts. That is not a mosquito though. There are a couple flies on here. It is really hard to see like, I never thought about actually having to count them. The mosquitoes are so tiny, you know, their wings are so small and it's gonna be hard to see them. I mean, it's definitely catching some bugs. Those are fruit flies. That's a little fruit fly right there. There's another species of fly right there, but th that's not a mosquito. So after examining these bugs very closely, we have caught probably 10 little flying insects. There's only one mosquito. I think that's a mosquito, guys. There's definitely not many, but basically I'm just gonna have to keep on checking these and I'll let you know every single day what the count is. It's gonna take me a long time to make this video. So if you will please destroy the like button, I would super, super appreciate it. It's been about two weeks now and I was just working outside and I realized, I realized I just got bit by a mosquito. So I figure I need to go ahead and check them. Let's see how we did. So guys, right off the bat, these things are covered in all kinds of different insects. So let's see what we got. We have definitely caught some mosquitoes. So let me show you one that is 1000% a mosquito. See that bug right there? That one right there. That one is a mosquito. That one is an Asian tiger mosquito. That's the most common and the most aggressive mosquito species in this area. But to be honest with you guys, all of these other bugs, those are just little gnats. So right up there guys, that one is another Asian tiger mosquito. And now that there are a couple of mosquitoes confirmed on here, I can definitely rule out all these other gnats that are kind of squished down because, because now it's very obvious that these are mosquitoes that are on here. And there's a third one right here on the corner. Those mosquitoes, the Asian tiger mosquitoes are black and have white little stripes on them and they're very easy to identify. We are two weeks in and we have caught three mosquitoes. That's a little lower than I was expecting. Okay guys, it's been like three weeks now. Let's check out our progress. Let me get this one out. And we'll get the other one. Okay guys, I'm really hoping to see some progress. Well, let me show you what I found. There's a mosquito, there's a mosquito, and there's a mosquito. Guys, that's three mosquitoes. If I remember correctly, we were at three mosquitoes a week ago. It's not looking good. I'm getting pretty disappointed because it's plenty of time for the water bucket to get nice and gunky. There's definitely still water in it. I checked it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is not working as I planned. I haven't sprayed my yard for mosquitoes simply for this video. I want this experiment to be extremely fair. I've been putting up with mosquitoes just for this video. Like I'm still getting bit by mosquitoes when I'm doing stuff around my yard, hoping these buckets are trapping at least, at least some of them, if not most of them. Okay guys, it has been one, two, three, four, five, almost six weeks of absolutely miserable putting up with mosquitoes, giving these buckets a chance being super, super patient with them. Here they are. I ended up actually moving one of them even to like the very far back of my backyard where I know there are mosquitoes. If they didn't catch mosquitoes in that area, then they will just not catch them at all. Guys, there's literally a mosquito trying to bite me right now. Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna get him. Boom! That's what happens when you try to mess with me. Yeah, messed up. Okay, so here's the two sticky boards in all of their glory. Let's go ahead and do a very final count on the mosquitoes after six long weeks. Let's see how many mosquitoes we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guys, I think it's nine, which is more than it was. They still catch a couple, but as far as a solution to preventing mosquitoes, it's a zero out of 10. It's done terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I still get bit all the time. Guys, let's even check out the water. I'm interested to see what the water looks like at this point. It looks gunky enough for mosquitoes. It's been so long, guys. I mean, gosh, look at that. That's just disgust. But there's no mosquito larva in there. I don't think it's the sticky because the sticky stuff is still really sticky. So I am just super, super, super disappointed. And like I showed you at the beginning of the video, I'm going to tell it exactly how it is. These buckets do almost nothing. I'm sorry they didn't work. I will do my best to try to find better mosquito solutions. I'm going to do what I know best now, and that is to treat the yard for mosquitoes using this backpack fogger. This is the same treatment that my company uses, and this is the treatment that we sell to our customers. So 
it is definitely the best thing that I can do for mosquitoes and I'm going to hopefully enjoy the rest of my summer mosquito free as possible and I hope you do as well. If you guys know of any ways you can control mosquitoes, please just let me know. So thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, just let me know if you have any pests that you want me to cover or have any questions about pest control. There are a ton of bugs and pests and mice and all kinds of stuff that cause problems for humans and I made this channel to help you guys. So whatever questions you have, just please just let me know. I will see you guys next time and thank you so much for watching.